Okay, so um, <laughs> OBS updated, and uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe when I updated it, uh, it might have balked my settings because my mic was on mute for the entire commentary while I was playing this match. So I was literally talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is again it's convoy yeah we're escorting liberty ships in uh, the new game mode mm. there, there's basically three randoms in this new game mode you, you, you get either this or you get arms race or you get airship escort right okay in case you were wondering um, I can't apologize <laughs> enough. <laughs> that was bizarre. Anyway, um, so, so I, I headed down this flank. I've got the Stalingrad, uh, riding shotgun with me. So I'm, I, I'm, I was kind of counting on his radar for this bit. Um, this is going to be a hell of a lot less salty than the original. Uh, oh boy, was I annoyed. Um, but I've worked that anger out. <laughs> Had a few gins, you know. <laughs> I drank some tea and I'm chill again. Um, people don't get this game mode. And yet it's so straightforward. You escort those Liberty ships. You see at A6 and 7, there's six Liberty ships running long tracks. And you've got to get them to the ports at the uh, bottom of the map. It's sort of like, uh, what do we got? G6 and uh, H, uh, H4, is that? Anyway, around those H5. Anyway. If one ship makes it, you win. Simple as. But you can see where the Liberty ships are and you can see where our fleet are. They're all balling at the moment around the the four, five lines, three, four and five lines at C and D. Meanwhile, I'm very interested in spotting for my team this corner because if these ships stay here we're going any any liberty ships that do get through these ships are going to sink them so we need to do something about the petra ah gronagon yeah so we're, we're trying to deal with the petra gronagon's shown up um so I'm going to, you know, at this stage I'm thinking, I'm going to switch targets. I'm going to probably go after the Gronagon. Because he's he's the biggest threat here. Yeah, I know, the Petro is a radar cruiser and that's a pretty big threat. But I'm kind of hoping the Stalingrad and uh, the De Grossa there will sort him out. <laughs> Have a little word, if you like. So I'm going dark, and then I'm heading down towards the Gronagon. Or at least that was the plan. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, the enemy team has got this particular mission easy. Uh, it doesn't matter if they don't understand the mission parameters, because all they got to do is sink all the Liberty ships. If they do that, they win. And the Liberty ships don't have enough hit points, in my opinion. Sorry, Wargaming. Sorry, guys. But... I think the Liberty ships could do with a little fluff, you know. So if you're listening, which you probably won't be because you never do. But if you are for that rare, rare occasion when you do, yeah, could you buff the Liberty ships a bit, you know. Because us defenders, we're clueless. Most of my team don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, you got to escort Liberty ships. Oh, I didn't know. I thought we'd just sink the enemy fleet and that's that, you know. Or oh, they're just here to grind credits. Anyway, there's my little friend in the Gronagon. So put some fire down on him. Literally. <laughs> oh! And it looks like the torpedoes kicked in on the uh, Mecklenburg and the Petro quite nicely there. Yeah, there you go. Two hits on the Petro. Almost took him down. Wow. It was a good hit on the Mecklenburg as well. So... Now, at this point, I wanted the Stalingrad to push and 
radar the Gronigan. Now, he has let his radar off, which is great. But as you can imagine, I got a little bit annoyed because he's constantly reversing. Um, I get it. I get it. He doesn't want the Petro to get him, right? But the Gronigan slips out of the edge of the radar and is now no longer lit by the Stalingrad. So, and I've had to withdraw because of that. Because he's too far away to use his radar, basically. That got me really annoyed and really salty. It's funny. Then you see where I am right now. Do you see this bit, this spot here? By now, all the ships to my starboard side should be where that aircraft carrier is, escorting the Liberty ships. Our aircraft carrier is escorting the Liberty ships down this line. Because there is no way those two Liberty ships that just went down the other track are going to survive. I mean, look what they're facing, right? And our fleet has decided to split and back off and leave the Liberty ships to their fate. Not good. I can clearly see from the map that they're either here farming credits. In other words, don't give a shit about the Liberty ships. Or, guess what? They don't give a shit about the Liberty ships. Um, which means we're going to lose. Because I'm the only one. The only one who's positioned for the last set of Liberty ships to try and defend them as they go down the line. I mean, the Stalingrad could push in, the Siegfried and the Sicilia could move across and support me, but uh, in hindsight, watching the playthrough, um, I can see now straight away what went wrong. Um, it's become very clear. <laughs> Those Liberty ships have nothing near them. They've got a Kerfus to the north. What the, where, where was the Kerfus going? What was in the Kerfus mind? I must go to the end of the world. I am sailing to the end of the world in my Kerfus, yeah. I mean, yeah, German battleships, secondaries, would have been really useful in the Congo, Congo line on with the Liberty ships, right? Following them down the track. But he's decided to sail to the top of the map. The edge of the world is nigh. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Answers on a postcard. If you know what the Kerfurst at uh, B3 is doing and what his strat is, please, please, I'm all ears. Chuck it in the comments. Chuck it in the comments because I really want to know. I really want to know. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, so there, the enemy carrier is quite rightly lighting the Liberty ships. Our carrier is quite wrongly not defending them. He should put a fighter patrol over them. In fact, he should have had a fighter patrol over them the entire time. But he's letting the enemy carrier... Uh, how do I put this? Pick them off. So... We ain't got the best carrier in this match either. Clueless. There's hope for the Republic. It's kind of got the right idea. Anyway, this Gronigan is not long for this world. If you play Gronigan, don't get this close to a Marceau. Just don't. Because this is what's going to happen to you. You're just going to get out DPM'd. I shit ye not. Now the Petro. So I drop some torps with the Petro. And then I go back round to escort the Liberty ships. That's the plan. But I'm on my own. Uh, the Stalingrad's decided to stay that side of the island. Uh, I am baffled. Uh, I don't know why the Stalingrad isn't chasing the Petro. But don't worry, Stalingrad. I deal with the Petro, so you don't have to. Here we go. Boom. And then uh, the Sicilia, again, out of position. The Kerfus is out of position. The Republic is on the edge of the position that I want him to be in. But he's, he's in play, so there's a chance. There's a chance. But the Kerfus... The Sicilia and the Stalingrad are all out of position. I need a Stalingrad to move in to the middle now. But he's going to carry on down that line. Yeah, he does. He just literally carries on down that line and gets that island uh, in the way so that he can't take on the Iwami. That he's very carefully and very casually sailing straight at the Liberty ships. <clears throat> and my team's cool with that, you know? They're absolutely cool with allowing an Awami this close to the Liberty ships. They ain't got a problem with that. Napoli's moved across too. I could have done with some cover from the Stalingrad on the Napoli. But no. 
So I've got the Napoli and the Iwami to deal with, who don't give a crap about me because we've got these low hit point Liberty ships. So they're just going to sink the ships and we're going to lose. And there you go. So you can imagine just how fed up and frustrated I was about that. I wish the matchmaker gave me players and know how to play the game. In fact, I wish the matchmaker would evenly split the players that know with the players that don't so that we can hold their hands, you know, and do a bit of carry. Because matches like this are uncarryable because 90% of my team don't even know what a Liberty ship is. And that's a bit of a problem, Wargaming. Maybe we could have some AI, you know, controlling the matchmaker, you know, an enhanced algorithm or something. But your matchmaker sucks, dudes. <laughs> Sorry, but it sucks. <laughs> I've never liked your matchmaker. And since I'm not on the special program, I don't get enhanced matchmaking either. So, And there you go. A loss. I did great, though. I was wonderful. <laughs> I was absolutely fabulous, darlings. But, you know... 110,000 damage, over a million credits, took out a couple of vital ships that were going to sink our Liberty ships, and lit the enemy team so that our team could do something about it. But look at that. Look how that fell. Okay. There are only three or four of us that knew what we were doing there, and two of us, three of those, sunk early. So, I was just left with me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.